Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft uh, admin tutorial series. This one is Craftbook. Now, uh, the towny Minecraft, or sorry, the towny McFriends server that I had running was using Craftbook. It is fantastic. I only used like a quarter of it on the server. This plugin is huge. It does a ton of stuff to change, kind of like the default gameplay in Minecraft without your users having any mods. It's really fantastic. It's actually brought to you by the creator of uh, World Garden World, uh, the SK89Q. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be a word, but just um, a short list of the stuff that it does. Like you can have elevators, you can have gates and bridges and chairs, footprints and pipes and mobs. Um, it's it's unreal. There's been a lot of tutorials on it, and I'm not going to go over everything because this would be like two hours long. This is just the list of all the stuff that it does. A couple notes in here. First off, you need World Edit to run this. It uses stuff from World Edit. I'm not sure exactly what, but you need it to run Craftbook. Uh, it if you want to do a few other things in here, like let's say the chairs, you need to run this plugin as well. Proto uh, protocol lib library. It's just a library that it uses. Uh, so if you want to use chairs, which is a pretty cool little plugin, if you want to use what else we got in here that requires it, the footprints. If you want it to show footprints, let's see what does this look like. Oh yeah, so it'll show little footprints where people walk. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to go over any of the the permission nodes for this stuff because there is so many of them. So I would highly recommend just checking out the wiki. I'll link it in the description. And if you look at any one of these, like uh, elevators is one thing we will go over. Uh, this the permission nodes will all be listed in here like this guy makes really good plugins you know he's got world guard and world edit which are the premier uh, most used plugins that i know of uh, so you can do like uh like for instance on mine um trial or strangers people who had just joined the server could not use elevators or create elevators so these permission nodes were not available to them um you can also uh you know put the elevators up to buttons let's help hop over to the config file i think that's about all i wanted to talk to on here yeah there's like cauldrons so you can make your own recipes uh, you can do cooking pots for mass cooking like custom mob drops and so you could really like make a malt like a RPG kind of Minecraft server. It'd be really cool with this. this you can do tree lopper. This is probably one of the be the best well known ones. Is you can cut down an entire tree by just block. You know, cutting the bottom block, which is pretty cool. And um, let's hop over. Let's see. I got the config file here. Here it is. So you can disable any of this stuff in here. Um, this is where it's all listed. If you don't want to use circuits, because I don't think. Uh, we didn't use circuits or vehicles. Like I said, I didn't use a ton of stuff. So you can disable all of this, set it to false. You can then scroll down, um, change some some uh, circuits data. I never, like I said, I didn't really use circuits in mine, but you can enable or disable the mechanics AI. This will change it so you can like sneak by mobs if they don't, um, if they don't have line of sight on you and you're not running, they won't chase you, which is kind of cool. You can um, disable the critical bow uh, or enable critical bow. So skeleton can get critical strikes on you as well. Um, you can enable or disable am meter. This is kind of cool. This is a redstone feature. So if you're holding coal and you right click on a line of redstone, it will tell you what the signal strength is at that spot, which is pretty cool. Um, what else do we got here? Better leads. That's kind of fun. You can then le leash um, like hostile mobs, I think is what it is. Yeah, like that. Um, better physics, better pistons, like just go through here. Bookcases, that's kind of fun. So like when you 
place a bookcase, you can right click on it and then it'll read like a random snippet from a book, which I can show you that in a moment. The bridges, this is where you can enable or disable bridges. You can hook them up to redstone even, which is pretty cool. You can set the max length, max width, what blocks they are. You got cauldrons here, um, which I'm not really gonna go over. And then here's the same thing with chairs and then which blocks it applies to. Uh, what else? You do chunk anchors. This is where uh, you can then anchor a chunk so it's always loaded, kind of like the spawn chunks. Um, let's see, what else? I think I'm not really going to go over more. Like, here's the doors, all that stuff. Just kind of scroll through here, enable, disable the stuff that you want. I think it's all pretty self explanatory. Uh, there's like snow piling, so snow will keep stacking up, which is kind of cool. You got a teleporter option, tree logger. This is where you can enable this or disable that. By default, it's false. Got my vehicles. I'm okay. I'm just talking here. Here, I'll show you uh, the the config file. So here's that proto lib. That's what you need to run like the the chairs and the footsteps. Um, I'll put this up to download, so you can download this, and it'll come with this jar file in it already otherwise you can I'll link it in the description where that is so here's where like the books thing this is where that is so you it'll randomly select a line from this so you can have like your members write out like little books and every time you place a bookcase and right click on it it'll select a random line it's kind of fun little little bit in there you got your cauldron recipes this is pretty self-explanatory in here um, and how to set that up. It gives you a little uh, a demonstration. Um, like I said, this guy makes some pretty good um, plugins. So let's hop in. I'll show you like the bridge, the door, and the gates, and, uh, and the books. I think that's what I have queued up to show you guys. So we will be right back. All right, here we are back in the old McFriend server, which is currently offline. Um, I will probably bring that back eventually, but that is a side note. This, I'm going to go over, I'm just using this because it's already set up. So here's, here's the bridge, here's how you use bridges in this craft book. So you lay down whatever it, material it is all the way across. It has to be all the way across. And then you set up a sign with the second line being that, um, bracket, bridge, bracket, and then the other side you need to end it with bridge end. Now what this does is once once you right click on it, bridge toggled and then it toggles back on. Flipping it, flip, 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 flip. So the other thing you can do is you can even hook it up to redstone. So if you run redstone to it, you still need to do the bridge beginning and bridge end, but you can then flip it from the redstone so you can you can hook it up to buttons and stuff like that that's kind of cool and uh, this is using glass block as the bridge so that's bridge remember the bracket bridge bracket and then the bracket bridge and bracket it's pretty simple I like the redstone that's pretty cool all right so now here is the elevator so you want to put the floor name that's optional you don't have to and then uh, lift up and then it'll teleport you to wherever the sign is now the sign has to be vertical from whatever it is so if we go down um yeah so it needs to be vertically aligned it doesn't matter how far so we could even put uh, one on top of this let me pull up a sign and then uh we'll just do, do this this is this looks terrible and this is not what i was planning on doing but whatever and then uh, we'll go lift down again. So tops, lift down. So now it says elevator down sign created. And then you can right click on it and it brings you down to that one. You right click on it again, it brings you back down. So then you can also go down, here's the basement. And then that one is vertical of that. So yeah, there you go. And uh, it'll tell you what floor it brings you to based upon that name. So this floor technically has two names depending on what sign you use. But um, that's kind of confusing. I thought it, it would be nicer if it told you what floor it's bringing you to. But now here's the gates. This one 
seems to be oh no there you go so basically you make you make your gate size so fill it all in with the fence posts and then you put a sign next to it and you don't need to put anything else but that bracket gate bracket and then you right click on it and it'll toggle it close i think this is the one that has the problems yeah i don't know i don't know why this one has has problems but um it seems to oh it seemed to always be weird but here i can show you the bit of uh you know you fill it all in and then hmm, not enough blocks to trigger mechanism maybe maybe i have this disabled that kind of block but there you go that's the gates and then you can also do walls i think is what this one is uh door so you could do the door um with any kind of so this one's a little weird because you almost you almost have to hook it up to a redstone because it goes down so low so you could basically do this let's just break that and uh door up and then we'll fill all of this in because we got to do that to begin this this business so um and then we're gonna put the sign down here and oops second line remember door up all right so now we got that now let's get some redstone and then we'll flip it so flip it flip it good there you go so that's a little tricky you kind of got to go down two blocks at least but it could be cool i mean you could um let me see here i mean you could wire this over to the side and then up to this block uh there and you know that's totally configurable what uh what materials you use for that door so you got your doors your gates and then your um elevators and bridges which i thought were all really cool options so the other one is let's pull up bookcase i can't remember which there we go where it is under but and then you just right click on it and it'll you picked up a book he who praises you for what you lack wishes to take from you what you have Ooh, that's some good insight i think of a hero as someone who understands the degree of responsibility that comes with his freedom so yeah that's kind of the thing oh yeah there was a bunch of bookcases in here i forgot about this house that somebody built and then you could just like start spamming because there's so many of them yeah <laughs> anyway oh that's so true if you ever start feeling that you have the goofiest cra craziest most dysfunctional family in the world all you have to do is go to a state fair because five minutes at the fair and you'll be going you know we're all right we are dang near royalty so that's it um like i said this is kind of like a really quick overview it's pretty self-explanatory check the wiki for the permission nodes of anything that gets enabled by default um like i think for mine i didn't really do anything it just installed it and then set the permission nodes i didn't enable or disable so by default like elevators bridges all that stuff's enabled but it looks like uh, mechanisms are enabled. So you can go ahead and disable that kind of stuff. Anything you don't want to use, go ahead and disable. And uh, this is a fun little plugin. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Um, I think it would be great on like an RPG server, some sort of adventure-esque server. Because you could do so much with like footsteps and crafting recipe, the cauldrons and... Uh, the bridges and the elevators the elevators alone are really great I'll show you some of the some of the ways that we've used them in our in our town which yeah sorry this this isn't around anymore I just couldn't run this server uh, publicly anymore so oh wait I don't have oh yeah I do so this was my derpy looking house I don't think it looked that great but you can bring it you know I kind of wanted to show people invisible maze um, so that was that's how that's worked and then um to get to my my dungeon which is all the way at the bottom um yeah that's how that goes and uh yeah so um hmm yeah but hopefully you found it helpful this is <laughs> i didn't plan on showing you my my house on the main 
the server that's no longer. But hey, if you found this helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer. If you have a suggestion of a tutorial that you'd like to see, I'm compiling a list. I'm starting to run low on the backlog, so feel free suggest it and I'll get it on the list and I'll go over it at some point. So hey, this is Cos from McFriends and as always, enjoy the game. Fireworks. <laughs> oh, she's yeah. oh my goodness. That was a good one.